Ahem, ahem, is the mic working? Is my teleprompter recording? All good? Okay, three, two, one. Hey, what is up, guys? Your famous Irish YouTuber here, back at it again with another video. Oh my God, since when did you become a famous Irish YouTuber? Everyone knows you for the dumb president that you are. Anyways, what do you have for us today? Is this another game from TikTok? Hey, 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 we just did an intro. Don't ruin the entire video by arguing again. I think I saw this game too. I hope it's gonna be a banger. You call counting down and checking his mic an intro, Barack? Oh, how far have y'all fallen? I should do the intro for the rest of the gaming session that we're gonna have. Oh no, surely they missed their friendly neighborhood Irish YouTuber man and want more out of him? Okay, so this game is called Zoonomaly. I don't know what's going on, but this is a solid game, I think. We're clearly looking at the how to play buttons right now. We can't conclude if the game's good or not if we stay here. Let's hop right to it. This better be good, Sleepy Joe, or I'm gonna be suing you for wasting my damn time. Oh wait, this is a cool intro already. Shh, I wanna listen. Okay, so a zoo is infested by zoo monsters from a place called Blue Morda. This is getting interesting. Okay, it seems like the goal is to collect at least 20 shards to beat this anomaly. No shit, Sherlock. Now shut up and listen. Oh my god, it says that collecting the shards is not going to be an easy task. At least we have some kind of weapon to fight off these monsters. The Bloom a Bang, or we can call her Big Bertha to make it easier to remember. The uh, Bloom Spectrum screen will allow us to see the invisible radiation. What the hell does it mean? We can see ghost stuff through a screen, like a night vision? Oh shit, I'm getting excited. We're here, boys. Whoa, this looks and spells danger already. Stay away, it says. Nah, uh, the common human nature would be to disobey something that they have been told not to do. It's instinct. It's how we live, so we're gonna do exactly do just that. We can pick up and collect light bulbs. I wonder what we're gonna have to use them for. Oh wait, it says, uh, up top, to use the bloom a bang to break down the barricade. Oh, don't mind if I yes. Heck yeah. That was a clear demonstration of how I use my Biden blast powers from time to time. But they had to use light bulbs as replacement for ice cream. Kind of disappointing, to be honest. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Let me just open this thing. And yeah, just as I expected, first try. And by the way, this game wasn't made for them to demo how you use your useless and non-existent Biden blast powers. Ah, what the hell is that thing? Oh, wait, is that poo? What happened to you, kid? It's been such a long time since I last saw you. Oh, wait a minute. Donald, is that you? Oh, my God. Okay, don't even get me started with your bullshittery, Joe. You know damn well that it's you who's locked up in there? Of course that's you. You're a huge pile of shit. You do realize that, right? Okay, calm down, the two of you. It's barely three minutes in, and you're boring the viewers with all your yapping. Let's just find the first shard that we can. Let's see what this zoo has to offer. Okay, whoa, whoa. This place is already giving me the Jeepers Creepers vibes. I feel like we shouldn't really be here. Can I return the contract that I just signed? I knew this was a bad idea. Why do we even play this? Don't ask me that. You're the one who found this game and suggested it. Take some damn responsibility. We can't go back now. Fuck, this is gonna be a whole new nightmare, especially if I'm playing with both of you. Shh, did y'all just see that? What the actual Slender Man fuck was that thing? Is that guy the first anomaly in the zoo? He looks so tall and he had a hat on, see? Look, look, what incarnations is that? Oh, hell nah, what the actual fuck is this game? Come to think of it, I think he was in the intro. Oh my God, why didn't I see that? Can we back out now, while we still can? I ain't dealing with no Squidward bastard. You brought us into this, Joe, and fuck this pole. Oh wait, it drops us light bulbs. Man, my leg days must be paying off if I can knock them bulbs with just a kick. Let's just call that guy the zookeeper. Well, that zookeeper is gonna kiss our ass when he catches us snooping around the damn place. Why does every game out in our world have no sense of logic? Why can't the police just do this themselves? It had to be us. Because I'm the greatest gamer of all time. They can't entrust this thing to those measly police officers eating donuts every chance they get. Time to face our fears and blast a hole into this zookeeper bastard. Do we really have to? We can just forget that this recording session never happened. Can we just quit the game and eat ice cream? Pretty pleased because that zookeeper is going to haunt me forever. Ugh. I guess we have no choice. There's no turning back, Joe. We can't leave the place we came in from. 
I just checked earlier. We have to somewhat make some progress in this game. I'm going to have to use my FPS gaming skills to clear these damn corners and peek off every corner possible, checking every angle that I can. Because ain't no way I'm letting that guy touch me. Or you can ask for some assistance from my airsoft shooting experience as well as training my personal SWAT members. Let's slowly and surely check every corridor in this place. Maybe we can find some shards. Hopefully. Nah, uh Wait, let me just restock on some light bulbs. We have some slots left to be filled. We can't clear these houses without any ammunition whatsoever. Is this even a gun? We don't even know if this thing can kill an anomaly. Seems like we didn't miss anything back here. Not that they'll let us get a free shard. Damn it. And yeah, well, there's only one thing to do, Joe. Fuck around and find out. If this gun is a sham, then I'm suing the game developers for making a fake gun. I'm with you on that one, but I think it's worth giving it a try. I think I can trust a blasting gun with my life. There's nothing in these rooms. Can't there be some loot or guide for us somewhere? We're clueless. We've been stuck in this area for a few minutes now. I think it's time to venture out in the deep, dark zoo. Look out for those zookeepers. And these signs are very creepy. They're telling us to stay away, and yet here we are. Oh shit, wait a damn minute. There's fucking two of them? Wait, there can be multiple zookeepers? Oh my God, we're gonna be so fucked in this game. One is scary enough, but two is enough to kill me. Of course there's gonna be multiple titties, Joe. I mean entities, slip of my tongue. Wait a minute, look up. See those beams of green light? Those are the signs and guides for us to follow to find those damn shards. I forgot to tell you that, boys, my bad. So yeah, those green beams of light are what we need to follow and check because those are the places with the shards in them. There's too many. I can't choose which one to go first. Question Maestro Barack, why the hell is the zookeeper also green? Does this mean that he has some kind of shards in him too? Or are these just night vision for us? Good question, Joe. I'll answer in just a minute. After I make our blast gunner turn off. Oh shit, it won't stop. Please help. What the hell do I do? I can't stop it. Oh, fuck it. I hope it won't attract the zookeepers. Fuck that, Barack. I have a better idea. Remember to fuck around and find out. Come here, you ugly ass zookeeper. Yippee K yay, motherfuckers. Take a blast out of this. Hell yeah, shit. It doesn't kill them, oh fuck. Ah! Oh my fucking god. Why the hell did you do that, Donald? Hurry the fuck up and find a place to hide. Oh fuck, we're so dead. Ah! What the? I just shat myself, splat all over my undies. That actually made me jump. What the hell were you thinking, Donald? I just don't understand the way you think at all. That caught me off guard. We learned one thing, that's for sure. What do you mean? Now we know that this gun don't kill them. It just stuns them for like three seconds, Max. Where are we? It seems like we're in a safe zone. These zookeepers must think that we're animals as long as we're in a den. Look at this ugly fucker trying to mess with me. So that means we'll be safe here forever if we just stay in this den and stop messing around the place. That sounds good to me. We're surrounded by many green beams of light right now. The zookeeper must have put us closer to the shards. Not that I care about them now. Stop being such a pussy, Joe. It's 2024. You can't be a wuss forever. We can deal with these fuckers, plus they're challenging us to find these shards. I bet it's not even that hard to find. Wait, I'm floating right now. These night vision gaggles are something else. I was right. These things can see the things that we can't. Oh my god. I might even find a hidden ice cream treasure with this thing. Never mind, count me in, the danger is worth it. Damn, what in the actual switch up was that all about, Joe? We're gonna be getting our first ever shard out of this place. One small step for Donald, and one huge step for USA's mankind. Since when did you become Neil Armstrong Donald? Last time I checked, you still believed that the moon was made out of cheese. We're even having a hard time making it and getting the first shard. Wait, the moon isn't made out of cheese? That was what they thought me in Harvard. Don't tell me they're lying. Did they psycho me? Hell nah, you must be lying, Barack. Take a damn lie detector. Uh, guys, I think I just got the shard by glitching out the system. Hell yeah. Ain't no way I'm spending more minutes than I need to just to puzzle this place out. It's not worth my time and I'm taking my win. And yeah, the moon is made out of cheese. Yes, it is. And don't worry, Donald. We'll make the editor make it look like it was a legit try for this game. Editor, edit it out and add some ice creams on top with cherry wine. What the hell do you think our editor is? He probably has enough time on his hands being locked up in the basement and working for you guys is hell itself. Don't toy with him. He probably wants to become one of these zookeeper instead. 
Don't tell them that we locked him up, Barack. Those are top confidential information that we don't want to share with anyone at all. And can that Squidward fucker stop laughing already? He's messing with my thoughts. He sounds so annoying, to be honest. I can listen to mommy ASMR videos, but not his laugh. It sounds like a Smirnoff laugh or some shit like that. Anyways, let's work our way through and get the second shard. Yeah, I kind of have to agree. It's not even scary anymore. Though it kind of is if he's chasing you, but if you're focusing, it's kind of annoying. Hey, can you shut up because we're trying to get a shard here? I think we lost him. The shard is right here. Can we just climb up the platform or glitch through it again? That way we have two shards and we have 18 more to go. Pretty please. 18 more to go? Fuck! That's a lot to be honest. Can I just turn cheats on or call the game developers to help me piece out these playground puzzle and have them solve it for me? If they don't agree, then they'll receive lifetime imprisonment. That sounds about fair. How about we actually give it a try, Joe? Not just straight up have them go to jail because we suck at playing the game that they made. Sounds like skill issue to me. Oh, fuck. It just launched me off the map. We need to get back. Fuck. Chill out. Didn't know that this game has some kind of physics in play with it. Let me get this bulb and yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, ugly zookeeper man. Let's try this again, without being launched. Wish this blaster could blast a hole into that zookeeper's mouth so he could stop yapping and start helping us with this puzzle. Cool thing is that we only need bulbs for this thing to work. How do we get the shard, though? That's what we're trying to figure out, Sleepy Joe. Maybe it can't be that easy. Don't tell me that we have to use 100% of our damn brain. That would be impossible for Joe. Consider this game unplayable if that's the case. Hurry up and run. Get through the next platform. What? It's blocked. Where in the hell do we go from here? Or we can just sneak past right through here. Hey, hey. Didn't know that it was possible, but who cares? We got the second shard, boys. We're making pretty decent progress right now, but let's be real here. I don't think we're playing this game how the devs want it to be played. That's a bit sad, to be honest. Psych, just kidding. I'll take what I can. Haha. <laughs> just when I thought you had some heart in you, Donald, you still fail to impress me up to this day. The only shit that's impressive about you is the way you get on my nerves. That's the impressive thing about the both of you. It's what I had to deal with the past years. Anyways, boys, we still have 18 shards to go. Let's do it in an order, from the most isolated one possible, working our way to the group shards. That sounds good to me. Is that okay? That sounds good to me. It doesn't change or affect my legacy whatsoever. Typical Donald thing I wanted to hear. Yeah, of course you're gonna say that, you bastard. And what the heck are all these sounds? It's like so loud. And I think it's coming from this cute, harmless, tooth-looking, walking motherfuckers. What the hell did you want me to say? Do I need to have a script for you to be pleased on what I say, Barack? Just stick to plan and go to that one over there. If we're lucky, that one must be easy to get. Okay, what? Are those monkeys? Well, this is a zoo, but what incarnations are those monkeys? They look so scary. What the hell is this game? And just when I thought nothing else could scare me apart from losing my ice creams. Fuck that and everything in that place. That will take a long time to do, and we can't be dealing with those monkeys while we climb to the very top just to get a shard. Let's save that one later. Narrow it down to the hardest ones. Well, that is true, but I can't believe you're backing down to a challenge, Donald. Wait, is the zookeeper close? Oh my god, the audio from these monsters are super loud. It's making me paranoid. Ah! Oh my god, what the hell is that? Is that a damn cat? Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck in the world are you? I'm fucking convinced that the people who came up with this character has to be one of the most craziest or scariest bastard alive. You can't be imagining this and making it come to life. Run, run, ah! Oh my god, we just got killed by that cat. That was fucking scary. Why the hell did you do that, Donald? Are you trying to kill me or something? We can't outrun these anomalies whatsoever. We're not even case Oh. Stop overreacting, Joe. We can do this. Just let whatever that thing be on his own, and we do things on our own, too. We'll just have to avoid it all while we're trying to get one simple shard. That's it. It's that easy. If only it were that easy, Donald. We just died to that thing. We can't even find the starting platform for this area. This game is hella confusing. We really need to use our brain. What do we need to use again? What's it called? A brain? What is that? Is that some kind of ice cream that we can use to eat? I might try getting one if y'all insist. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. It's an ice cream that you should definitely eat because you've been missing out on it in your whole damn life. Literally. Where the hell do we go from where to get to there? I don't understand this map. 
Map's fucked and rigged. You better not be making fun of me, or I swear to God I'm gonna have you in prison for the rest of your life with this ugly ass cat looking tiger or whatchamacall this thing. Oh my fucking God, this cat is faster than how it looks. Holy shit, that just made me sweat a lot. That was fucking nasty. I don't want to deal with all this cardio and shit in this stupid zoo. I mean, who would have thought that wasn't what you were going to say, Donald? Of course you're going to hate cardio. I mean, look at all your McDonald points right now. Shut the fuck up, Barack. Whoa. You don't know the story of my life, nor do I want you to. And these fuckers can't be outran. What the hell are their legs made out of? This must be some kind of robotic shit. It's made out of fibers and muscles, Donald. But I think that's the minority. Most of them are made out of ice cream cones, and I'm sure about it. Can we just grab the shard so that I can enjoy my ice creams after this? I don't think that's what we were supposed to do, but I'll take it. We finally have three out of 20. This is gonna be a long ass game that we're gonna be fucking playing boys. So don't talk to me specially about my points at McDonald. You're the one talking about it, Donald. With the amount of points you have, it'd be enough to solve the entire world hunger issue that we're facing. Heck, you'd be better than Mr. Beast at this point. How the hell do you even know about this shit? Who the heck told you? And even if it would solve world hunger, I'd have doubts about giving it away. Because you know, the economic stuff. Is it just me or you look as ugly as this guy, Donald? What I'm trying to say is being greedy is going to be the end of you. You can't even share the millions and trillions of points that you have. I don't care if it's going to be the end of me. I can't have someone else be given this power. I worked hard for this shit and I earned it. Anyways, let's just go ahead and find the 17 fucking shards we're missing. We can't. This zookeeper right here is blocking our way. We can't make it out of here easily. Wait, I have an idea. He might pull back if we went deeper into this section of the zoo. Shit, shit! Hurry the fuck up before the cat thingy comes up here and bites our damn asses. Can't this guy just go away? At this point, we're not gonna make any progress at all. This is gonna be the end of us. It's because you're the one playing. Here, let me. You guys can't even make this simple jump. Just kidding. That wasn't my fault. My hands were off the keyboard and mouse. Shit, we're stuck. Are we really gonna be stuck here forever? Because that is what I want. I can outlive all of you easily. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, just like a walk in the damn zoo. By the time that I wake up, y'all must be dead. That's easy for you to say, immortal living motherfucker. And why the heck are there even more of them? Why are y'all riding our damn dicks? Okay, get the hell away from me, shithead. We can't be wasting our bulbs for this shit, Donald. We know that they're not gonna die at all from the shock waves that this banger produces. I wished it would kill some of them, man. I know, but it at least stuns them for a while, and that's all I need. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Catch me if you can, Mr. Zookeepers. Shit, 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 where the hell do we go from here? The entrance must be close. Why the fuck did you do that, Donald? Ah, damn it! Now look at what you've done. You just made me pee, and I think I shat some out of my pants. Damn. Wait, let me change. You yucks. We don't want those information out of you, Joe. All of that for nothing. Zookeeper's still here, boys. This is so stressful. Why are they all here? Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Maybe if we go around the fences, we can get out of here. Let's just check it out. This game is so stressful for no absolute reason at all. This is so time consuming and it's driving me crazy. Ha ha! Is the great Donald Trump admitting that this game is out of his league? Don't tell me you can't play this game at all. You can't beat this shit. Even kids with iPads, was it? Those big rectangle things can beat you in this game. Good for you, Joe. You can differentiate what shape the iPad is, but at this point, I don't fucking care. Those kids might beat me in this game, but I can beat the hell out of those kids. Remember that. Ha ha! What the heck is wrong with you, Donald? You can't be joking about those shit. This is one of the reasons why you lost the election for presidency. Some people might fake the lines and end up using it to blackmail you. Oh, trust me, Barack, I don't fucking care. They can even tag me and shit and have my name and face all over it. Make it a quote or whatever. And where the hell do we get out of here? Can I just grab this fence and use it as a shield while we explore the entire zoo map? You can go ahead and do that, Donald. That is if you can lift it out of the damn ground, which is impossible for you. And what the hell is that thing? Is that what giraffes now look like? Giraffes? Really, Joe? Those are some kind of anomalies, not a damn giraffe, I get it. We're inside a zoo, but those things are not normal.
They look like malnourished aliens, to be honest. But yeah, fuck it. We're making a run for it. Shit, shit. What the hell is wrong with you, Donald? At least tell us beforehand that we're going to be making a break for it. Shit, shit. Hide and get inside. Phew. Glad that he's too tall to fit inside. This place can be our new camp. Oh, what? What the hell is that thing? That looks like another kind of slender man. Whatever that thing is. I bet it can't get us down here. I don't mind being a short king if it means I can survive from that thing. What the fuck is that thing? That looks like some kind of poppy playtime kind of entity or some shit. Oh no, it's getting close. As long as it doesn't have the brain to use his muscles to bend over and get us here, then we're safe. Phew, it's as dumb as Joe. We don't have to worry about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you just really insult me in front of the entire audience that's watching us right now, Donald? Are you for real? Fuck off and eat some donuts while you're at it. I'm gonna make a new law that the president can only be a reference for a good thing. I'm safe, because what I just compared you to was for a good thing. It's as dumb as you then, that means we're gonna be safe. It's for our safety, Joe. That's why I said what I said. Shh, I'm going for it. It's fucking locked. We need to find a key for it. It said that it's nearby. Shit. Where the heck are we gonna get a key from? This place is basically a museum. A key? Fuck! We don't have one. Fuck that shit! I'm getting the hell out of here. Ain't no way I'm gonna be staying around long enough to find out what's gonna happen if I stay for too long. Who the hell let blood play? The key must have been close to us. We didn't even get the chance to check the place out, Joe. I swear to God, if we replay the footage and it was a meter close to us, I'm gonna break that teleprompter of yours. Well, it's too late, boys. Sometimes it's a flight or fight response, but this time Joe checked and figured out flight was the better option for him. We can't blame him for that. Let's just go to the nearest one. Yeah, of course it's gonna be a can't-be-helped situation type of shit if it's Joe. But if that was me that ran during that time, then the issue would be so different. What in the hell is wrong with y'all? Of course, it's because I am the president, and if you're the president, you get the privilege of being perfect. And I'm taking advantage of that right now. By the way, we can't circle around the rocks. We have to make a run for it. That was what you call a run, Joe? That was barely running. We didn't even manage to make it that far away from them. And we're back at the damn start. Great. This game is just too great. I'm going to call the game devs and have a talk with them. Chill out, Donald. We were exploiting the map's terrain earlier, remember? To get those shards? Yeah? So don't you dare and make a complaint to those game devs because they deserve to complain about what we did. I don't fucking care. They deserve it. And I just got caught. Great. We can't even outrun this motherfuckers and this gun just stuns them. They should have made it so that we can at least take some of them out. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of agree. The gun must be deadly enough for these types of aliens because we're the one being sent to risk our lives out here to get these damn shards. And all we have is a blaster with 0.1% of my Biden blast power. Forget about it. Complaining like damn kids won't get us nowhere at all. Let's just get moving and start mapping out our next moves. Seems like there's a flock of beams of light over yonder and some on this area as well. Let's check the easy ones out first. This one seems like it's easy to get. Wait, was this the area to get it or was I just being dumb and stupid? What the hell is that thing anyways? Is that a doo-doo bird? I don't want to be here anymore. Can we go home now? Doo-doo bird or not, your brain is smaller than all of those doos combined. I can't believe that you can't even tell the distance of those beams coming out from our night vision blaster gun. And now we're stuck with this zookeeper again. There's a path that we can adventure out on. There's gonna be more of them, but at least we're gonna make it to the flock of beams in the sky. Get the hell out of our way, zookeepers. You can't keep us there forever. Phew! Shit! That made me sit on the edge of my chair. My heart is not gonna survive all of this bullshit. It's making me palpitate harder than a coffee could ever make me. I'm too old for this shit. Stop being overdramatic, Joe. You're still alive even after all of this damn time. You can't die just yet. It seems like there's like over seven or eight beams of light over to our right. We should make our way towards it. Ah! What the hell did you just do, Donald? Fuck, I hate that kitty cat thingy looking animal. Did the blaster just bugged out? Damn, even our weapon is not in condition. It takes so fucking long to charge. At least the zookeeper's gone now. Consider it as part of my plan. Just stop trying to use your brain, Joe, because every time you do, it fails. Just leave it to me, the most smartest man alive in the whole universe. Damn, that's some bold claims, Donald. We never even saw you attend any competition that involves using you brains back in high school. Well, if you're talking about the eating competitions that you joined, well, yeah, we remember your legacy. 
Shut the fuck up. We're not going to talk about that. What the hell is that thing? Is that a new Slenderman variant? These fuckers better be slow as a damn turtle or we're going to be so dead when we're running away from them. Shit, shit. What is that noise? Was that him? Get me out of here. I don't want to play this game anymore. I can't understand the concept of the game and the anomalies in this zoo. Where am I even going? Wait, stop. We can't go back that way. We'll save the one in the museum like place for last. We have to find a key for that one. How about we try getting this one over here instead? Fuck. We'll have to go through Slenderman 2, though. This one? Are you sure, Barack? I don't think we can work ourselves into this one. Oh, shit. He's coming our way. He's slow, all right. What? Never mind. He just sped up like what in the actual fuck? He's faster than Usain Bolt himself. Oh wait, is this place what I think it is? Oh my fucking God, is this thing a maze? I can't deal with mazes, boys. I'm so bad at directions. The shard is on the most right side of this maze. And not only do we have to take care of this thing, but there's damn monkey block in the entrance. How the hell are we supposed to get there? Shit, you're right, but we have no choice but to try it. I'm gonna be fighting my demons this time. Maybe this monkeys are friendly, we don't know. Let me through, please. Oh shit, it's not. We're fucked, boys. This fucking game is rigged. This one is faster than Yuzhin Bolt, and we have another monkey guarding the damn maze. It's like the devs don't want us to win this game at all. They're setting us for failure here. There's no game that's not beatable, Donald. We know that better than anyone. Do you remember Granny and all of those other games we played? Trust and we can do this. Although it's looking kind of grim for us. I know, Barack. I'm not a damn toddler, but looking at this maze makes me lose all hope for all the horror games that I played. This is just isn't it. We can't beat this. It'd be better if only one of them was here. You guys can check it out and tell me what you think, because I'm out here ordering my second batch of ice creams, as well as the third and fourth batches. So I'm going to be taking a while. Those shards ain't just worth it. We only have three. This one's supposed to be our fourth one. Shit, it's right over here. I wonder if we can glitch through these small bars of wood that's blocking the way just like how we got one of them. Just glitch through it, Donald. I won't snitch. I'm fucking trying. Just a little smudge of the corner, or at least let me through these wooden bars. Fuck, we can't. It's so fucking close. It's literally over there. I can fit in this cage. This game is rigged. No physics involved. One out of ten. Get the hell out of here before that damn monkey catches us, Donald. And by the way, just so you know, Donald, you're as big as those fences blocking the damn way. Of course you're not gonna fit in there. What the hell did you just say, you ice cream loving bastard? I'm gonna stuff with vanilla shit ice cream when I get back there. Just you damn wait. And I'm gonna even give you a taste of your Biden blast itself with just my fist. Stop fighting, now's not the time. We have to get the heck out of here. Let's just save this one as second to the last. We definitely have no chance with these two guarding the place. Get out? Nah, I'd win. Watch me solve this maze at ease, Barack. You too, Joe. You better be watching the master Donald Trump at work. Where the hell is it? Oh, shit. Never mind. The monkey's here. Nice stun, Donald, but get out of there. Oh, my God. Reload that and blast him out to space. Ah! Fuck! That was a damn dead end. He's too fast for us, man. How the hell are we going to get that shot? For now, we restock our light bulbs. We can't find the war without any gun or whatsoever. But we have to outrun the two of these guys first. Shit, shit, this burning a lot of my damn calories. This wasn't in the plan. Ha ha, this is the only game that you'd ever find hard, Donald, because it involves a lot of cardio, which is your weakness, if I have to say. And I'm not implying because of your physique or some shit. You know what I mean. The only weakness that I'll ever have is myself, Barack. Trust me on that. And who the hell said I can't run? I'm gonna run you over if I have to. Let's settle this on the field. We can even do a 100 meter sprint right fucking Who the hell are you kidding, Donald? I can hear you panting hard all the way over from my house. You ain't even running in real life yet. Just shut up and play the damn game. Shit, 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 the zookeeper's on our damn asses. Get the hell away from us, please. Yeah, that's right. Before I Biden blast you out to space, stay right there like the good boy you are. We can continue our search for the shards over here instead. Why do we keep getting the hardest one to get yet? Give us some easy shards game devs. We'll save those two for last later. Yeah, and let's not forget about the insults that you just said to me, Barack. I'm gonna be laughing in the end anyway, so I'll just let it slide. Especially now that you need my skills to beat this game. Pause, what the hell is that thing? A bunny? Is that Bugs Bunny? Oh, never mind, that's not him. What the fuck is that? Is it playing hide and seek with us? Wait. There's a beam of light behind it. 
It's in a cage. Wait, what in the actual fuck? How the hell are we supposed to get it out of there? There might be a way, and it definitely has something to do with the bunny hiding its eyes. Let me take a closer look at this thing. Maybe we can get a hint out of it. The shard is right behind it. It's a huge ass cage, too. Is it guarding the damn thing? Well, this is where we learn to do what you say, Donald. Fuck around and find out. I mean, it's not like we have any other choice, and this game is not giving us any hint on how to do this whatsoever, so yeah. All we have to do is now use Joe as our bait, and we can do this no problem. Yeah, that sounds about right. We have no choice but to use Joe as bait, and we can do this no problemo. Use Joe as bait. Use Joe as bait. What? Me? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Ha 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 ha. You just got bitch slapped by the bunny, Joe. I thought you heard the plan already. Once we start pressing and pulling those levers, that bunny starts to chase us around. Yeah, no shit, it does. And why do we have to keep running around and pull some levers? Can't we just get the shard out of the cage by like using this blaster that we have? Surely it'll blow a hole in there, Never mind. This thing sucks, it doesn't blow a hole in the enemy's body, it's strong enough to stun them. That's the only thing this shit is good for. Anything aside from that, then it's fucked. How the hell do we get this shard out? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's getting fucking too close, ah! Oh my God, the shivers that bunny sent through my spine can be felt from my teleprompter. Jippers, creepers, I am not playing this game ever again. We need a game plan. First, we need to figure something out. We can't run around aimlessly. Let's think first on how we'll get this damn shard out. Maybe we have that bunny ram from the outside while he chases us. Wait, I think I have an idea. We'll use this light up my life lever to lure him into the cage and have him hit it. Then the moment we respawn, it's open while he has his eyes closed and we have fun stealing it with no effort whatsoever. That idea sounds so fucking brilliant, Joe, that it made him want to give us a damn hug. Please go the fuck away. I hate bunnies. It's all easy for you to say, Joe. How about you go ahead and execute the plan instead? I said I have a brilliant idea. I wasn't volunteering for this stupid mission. I'm setting myself for death if I did myself. That's why you're dying for my place. How fucking thoughtful of you, Joe. And as I expected, none of what you said is working. He doesn't die from the lights, it just stuns him and he chases us right after. He doesn't die. He won't even hit the cage. Oh my fucking God. I can't believe that this game is giving us a hard time. The shard is right there, just beneath the damn cage. We can't get inside it. Fuck, there must be a way, or we're just so dumb. When there's a will, there's the way. Wasn't it that what they said during the desperate times of need? If ice creams existed back then, I am sure that the word ice cream would be part of all the important quotes. Shut the fuck up, Joe. You're not helping right now. All your gibberish is just making this bunny all the more angry at us. Your plans are not working, guys. I do have an idea, but I don't want to let you all take credit. We're not going to take fucking credit, you stupid orange clown. Can you just tell us your plan already, Donald? so that we can help you execute it instead of watching you from the sideline. I think I have an idea on what he wants us to do, Barack. Basically, it's just a ring around a rosy. I think it'd exhaust him out if he keeps running at a pace as fast as this. I mean, look at Donald. He stops from time to time to catch his breath. And when he does, he'll open the cage. We died, shithead. That's it. I'm not telling you any of my fucking game plan from now on. Good luck on figuring this game out by yourself, Sleepy Joe. You ain't having no more from good D. I don't need your fucking help. I am the President of the United States. Did you see me ask for help when I was at work making important decisions? Of course not. You weren't there. Ha ha. So you do admit that you were asking for help, Sleepy Joe. That's some big news. But everything we're doing to this bunny isn't working right now. He doesn't die from the light. Of course he doesn't. That's what we have been doing the past few minutes of trying to get the damn cage open. I ain't telling you what to do, by the way. Fine, Donald. Just sit around and watch your closest friends die one by one from this bunny because you won't tell us the method on how to get that damn cage open. Okay, I will then. That's what you get for mocking me and teaming up on me. You don't deserve any of my wisdom, even if the both of you are my closest friend. Too late, Donald. We just died. Again. We can't outrun and outlast this damn bunny. Even if we were a cat right now, we won't survive with nine lives that it has given us. Here's an idea. Since the both of y'all are super dumb, we just move on and find another beam of light that we can go to and try figuring out. We can save these three as the last hard ones that we need to do later on. I hate to agree with you, Donald, but yeah. The three would be the maze. 
The bunny one and the needs a key to be opened, shard one out in that museum looking area with Slendy watching it. We'll just come back if it comes to that point anyways. One's like right in front of us. But this doesn't involve any running from anomalies whatsoever. All you need is a brain. Sorry, Joe, you don't qualify for the requirements again. Huh? What the hell are you talking about, Donald? I'm not fucking brain dead. And you better watch out because I don't fucking forget, like at all. Ah! Oh my God, that just woke me the fuck up. What was I gonna say again? Ha ha. I can't believe that I just got jump scared like for real. I just flinched so hard that I almost broke my neck. Well, it seems like the water is not safe at all. What the hell were you thinking, Donald? People like you won't understand. You just have to think outside the box for puzzles like this. Just like we did the last time, just glitching through the wooden platforms. This time, we need to do some parkour instead. How about we actually try and find the shards legitimately? There's no harm in trying their obstacle course. I'm sure it's pretty easy, too. We just didn't get the chance to try and play explore around. Yeah, this would be easier if this damn blaster didn't take a whole five seconds to finish charging up just for us to push down a bridge that won't even lead us directly to the shard that we're looking for. Stop dissing my blaster gun. I know it sucks ass, but you don't get to say it. So, uh, where the hell do we go from here, guys? I don't see anywhere that is likely leading to the shards right now. We're getting cock-blocked by the invisible platform right above us right now. We can only see it if we use our damn night vision Googles. Seems like our option would be to go down. Uh, so yeah, we're already down here, Donald, but I don't really think this is the right way to go. We can't possibly make that long-ass jump from this rock to that platform. We'll die to the piranha down there. Then what are you trying to say, Barack? That my decisions aren't that good, huh? Is that what you're trying to say? It's right up there. How the hell do I get it from here? I don't know, Donald. You're the one who claims to be the wisest among the group. So you go ahead and decide on how we take it. While I chug my ice creams right here, right now. Too late I died. Oh fuck again, that wasn't me guys. That was definitely Joe. I didn't mess up that bad. Fuck this game, man. So fucking tricky and slippery too. They should have just left the shard somewhere that we can get easily. That would ruin the whole purpose of the game, no? And why the heck are you blaming me for getting eaten by the piranha? I wasn't even that close to my teleprompter. I wasn't blaming you, Sleepy Joe. I was talking about it as a fact. I don't need physical evidence or virtual evidence to know that you are who's guilty for me dying in that infested water of piranhas. Shh. I'm trying to focus here and you fucktards are talking about nonsense again. Can you just shut up and help me find out where we need to go from here? That's what I am trying to do, Mr. Sherlock Barack. Just shut up and watch my magic fix this riddle of a puzzle. We must be missing something. I'm gonna take my time and have a look around. Explore the different options that we have. Maybe we can see better from here? Oh shit, ah, fuck, I slipped. That wasn't me though, y'all saw that right, chat? That was a cat who happened to pass by my mouse and messed up my game. Yeah, fuck you, cat. Haha, <laughs> I can't believe you're trying to fool us right here, Joe, like we're some kind of toddlers. Just let us handle the damn parkering, Joe, because we know that you suck at it, like literally. That kind of is true. You don't have to be embarrassed about that fact, though, because you know majority of the people in the gaming community also don't know how to do it right. I'm trying to map out the route, but I just can't. Map out the route, Barack? Who the fuck do you think you are? Albert Einstein or something? You can't map that shit out? I can't do it? Because it's very, very confusing to look at. If you can't do it, it doesn't mean that I can't do it. Who the fuck told you to make those damn assumptions? Just shut up and help me find the route that we need. Sorry guys, I can't help that much because the second batch of ice creams are really, really yummy. I'm having a crisis right now. I'm in a food coma and I can't focus properly. With or without your damn ice cream, Sleepy Joe, you still can't do anything that'll benefit the entire team, aside from eating your damn ice creams and shoving it down that mouth of yours. What the hell do you want me to do? Spoon feed you the rest of my ice creams? Hell nah, in your fucking dreams. Even if I die, the piranha should not be able to eat my leftover ice creams in my stomach. What the hell is up with that mindset? I can't believe after your death you still think about what to do with your ice creams. How about you try and use your brain for once, Joe, and find the route that leads to that shard? We're back at this place again. We must be missing out on something. I can't believe this simple looking area is giving us a hard time. This is one of how many shards left floating around. We can't always just judge a book by its cover. Maybe if we try jumping from here, then we can make it to this floating invisible platform. Because if we can't, which seems like we can't, then I'm out of ideas. I give up.
Yeah, with my God level parkour skills, Joe, I can definitely say that this is something that we can't jump over. Maybe we just need some running space. Oh, fuck no. Holy shit. Ah, I fell, huh? I'm still alive? What the fuck? The game must be stressing on us, too. To the point that they gave us a free life for having a difficult time on a supposedly easy part of the map. Who the hell designed this game? Are we walking on damn water? Shit! We're like Jesus. Not everyone can walk like this. I wish we could have fly, though, and just grab that shard out of thin air, then we're gone. Who wouldn't want that to happen, Joe? If this was Minecraft, then we'd be on creative mode the moment that we find it difficult to solve one phase of the problem. This is another level of crazy game level design. I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, because that's how we usually do it in Minecraft. Sadly, this isn't Minecraft. The only game that you'll ever be good at, Donald. It's okay. We'll figure something out. What the actual fuck? I don't need your pity, Barack. Keep that shit to yourself. Just watch me find a way to solve this puzzle out of thin air, with the most unexpected method possible. You just died. How the heck am I supposed to believe that after seeing you drown in the mouth of that damn piranha? Well, it's not like I have a choice. Go ahead and try and surprise me. Surprise you, Barack? But it's not even your damn birthday. A surprise wouldn't even be a surprise if you knew it was coming. Why would you ask that? Oh, wait, huh? What am I talking about again? In situations like this, Joe, where you don't understand anything that is being said, you just sit back and relax and shut up and watch everything happens. Take a break from those ice cream, Joe. It's making you become brain dead. I am not brain dead, and I don't need any concern. My sexy Terry, I mean a herm, a slip of the tongue. My secretary is going to be taking care of me in terms of scheduling my medical health appointments. Sexy Terry? Sexy fucking Terry? Oh my God, Jill is going to love this. I swear, I have it all in audio right now. Even in 4K, I'm sorry, Sleepy Joe, but tonight you'll be sleeping outside while I use this to blackmail you. Please don't, Donald. Don't be like this. We don't have to ruin each other's life just for this. Please. I mean, it's under the command of the President of the United States. You reject or deny this. I don't fucking care, Joe. I'm gonna have you all over the news and reveal all the scandalous things you have done with your sexy fucking Terry. Oh wait, I might have it all figured out. Yes, that's what I want. Please get sidetracked and focus on the game, that way you will forget that I ever mentioned the fact that I have a sexy Terry working for me all day. Ahem, Joe. You're forgetting one more person in the damn session. That's me. I heard everything, but I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Snitches get stitches, and worst of all, no fucking bitches. That's what I fucking like about you, Barack. The best simp in the world. The only problem here is Donald right now. Please, Donnie, don't talk to Jill about it. Oh, shut up, Joe. You can't tell me what to do or what not to. You're not my fucking mom. Ah, oh my god. This is what I get in return for speaking to you and your nonsense, Joe. What the actual fuck? I just failed that simple ass jump. Ha ha ha. I can't believe that I just witnessed the real Big D Trump getting swallowed by a piranha in real time, too. This is the best day of my life. Oh, wait. I'm on thin ice right now. I can't provoke him. I like how you're saying this all out loud, Joe. Don't tell me that you don't have any more space for your intrusive thoughts inside your brain because all you think about is ice cream. Um, uh, the answer for that question is, yeah, Rockstar 49 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Error, error. Oh shit, sorry guys, I was just removing some of my memory disk because it was full storage. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, I almost fell and choked on water the moment you said that, Joe. What the hell are you? Some kind of robot that needs to be resetted. Just admit that you're trying to change the topic here so I won't send it to Jill. Damn it, I thought it was working. Oh, uh, no, Donald, you can do everything that you want. Just let me know. I'll give you some special permission. I am the president after all. Thanks, but no thanks, Joe. You're still gonna be sleeping outside your house or outside your damn bedroom. Either way, if you sleep outside because of what I did then, I'd feel really happy about it. Shh! That's not fucking important right now. We need to find out where the hell we go from here. We're about to get this fucking shard finally, but I don't want to mess up. Help me, boys. I am trying to think of a way to get up there and grab it. I'm trying to map out the route as you tried earlier, Barack, but I just can't find it as easily as I used to. We need to have a talk with the game devs after this. They should have made it easier. I mean harder. A herm harder. Ha ha! Stop acting tough, Donald. We're struggling with just one shard right now. We missed three because we didn't know what to do and what we seemed to have thought were easy was actually hard. This game is plenty difficult already. It is. 
I don't even understand half the time of what you're doing. Do I have to jump from here to there? Oh, wait, never mind. Fuck that piranha got me. Yeah, thank you so much for the fucking contribution, you old fart. Fuck it. If we're gonna do it that way, let's just do it my way. Oh my fucking god, it worked. We made it, boys. Shit. Now we just have to slowly trace it to the damn shard. How the hell did you even manage to do that? That's some high-level parkour skills right there, I gotta admit. Glad that we have enough bulbs to use. If not, then that jump would have been for nothing. Is this it? Finally! Hell yeah, we got it. That was all me, boys. Just kidding. We all did it. And I contributed the most by eating ice cream while distracting you from getting here. We finally have four out of 20 shards. Just, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twenty more to go, I think. Bro can't even count properly and is trying to take credit for all the shit that I have done. That was my immaculate parkour skills that got us there. I wonder how you two would do without me. Of course you can't beat this game without DD's nuts. Got him. Did you really just hit us with the D's nuts line type shit? Ain't no way type shit. Anyways, before you do take your time and have a mighty ego stroll about that one lucky jump that got us one more fucking shard out of God knows how much many more we need, let's see you deal with this area. Well, if you're saying it that way, then I have no choice but to prove it to you that I can solve this puzzles without the need of petty tactics. I'm just saving us some time and to show the viewers that you can beat the system. Famous last words, Donald. You might end up having a hard time with this one. It doesn't look easy to me, to be honest. But we'll see. If we're lucky, we might even be able to get this done with just a few tries. It would be easier for me to figure all this shit out if y'all shut the fuck up and let me do my own thing. Y'all talking isn't really helping me whatsoever. Just zip it and watch it. Wait, how the heck did you get up there? I didn't even know that you can do that. You can use this platforms for boosting you up like a damn catapult type shit. I can't believe we hadn't done that. Well, this is the perks that you would have if you are the smartest supposedly crowned president of the United States. Being smart isn't easy, Joe. But I know being stupid is harder, haha. -ha. Damn, he just roasted you real fast, Joe. Who let bro cook? Are you really just gonna let it slide and let him call you whatever he wants? Personally, I ain't letting that shit happen. Well, what you gonna do about it, Joe? Come on, tell me, pussyo. That's right. I know you don't have the guts to fight me fair and square. Bet you're calling your agents right now to take care of me. Too bad, Michelangelo has my back. Uh, yeah, this is the president. Have them launch a synchronized attack on Donald. Have my privately trained team take the leading point and have it done within the next hour. You got that? It's a direct order. Oh wait, who is this? Oh, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Yeah, I'd love a couple buckets delivered to my house in the next hour. Yeah, the usuals, please. Ha 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 ha! Blood just switched up to being a cool president to being an ice cream enthusiast lover again. All in just a few seconds. This is why I love having you here, Joe. I can't just predict you like it all. And he just pretended that I was deaf all this time. You can't launch any sneak attack on me, Joe. I have my units trained to be vigilant 24 fucking 7. Good luck getting past them. I'd love for you to take my advice and focus on ordering your ice creams instead. Shut up. That was part of my plan. You don't even know if I was just acting or not. This might be a secret play that I've thought using 100% of my cerebral capacity. Ooh. He's bringing out the smart words that he usually doesn't use, Donald. He might really be bluffing earlier. The ice cream call must be a bluff. Or is that what he wants you to think? Cerebral capacities? More like a no-brainer? What the actual fuck is wrong with y'all? Bluff or no bluff, I'd love to see you try break through my multi-layered censored layer I have in my house. Even a ninja can't get past it. Well, my people aren't ninjas. They're better than any other kind of superhumans that you would normally see in television. That's right. Just wait till they knock down that door of yours. In like an hour. Yeah, that's the time my ice cream will also arrive. Yeah, yeah, you can enjoy eating that ice cream of yours, which I happen to have poisoned, and you don't even have a clue. But first, let me fucking deal with this platform. It's not launching me properly. Uh, have you considered the thought of losing some pounds, Donald? That would be the best advice that you will ever receive from me. Get to moving to stop fucking complaining. Are you saying that I'm fat and that's why the game is not letting me get launched off the platform properly? This game has physics and how the hell does it know my weight? Fuck that. This game is rigged and wait till I see you body shaming Barack. Ah! 
I just broke my leg, my leg. Uh, fuck, that actually hurt. How many times did we break our ankles by now? This is too much for me. Should we just leave this place and do it later? Stop overreacting, Joe. A fall like that can't fucking kill you. And hell no. You just provoked me into beating this area earlier. Ain't no way I'm losing. My fucking pride and every ego I have is on the line. Of course I'm gonna beat it. Well, let's get to it then. This place is consuming too much of our time. This puzzle section is so hard for no damn actual reason. We have restocked our bulbs. We have a decent chance out of this. You say that as I get launched back to the starting platform? Shit! That wasn't me, guys, I swear. That was definitely Sleepy Joe taking over the mouse and screen. Yep, I don't make mistakes. Let's try this thing one more time. Oh my fucking God, we just fell again. Where the hell are the light bulbs when you need them? My ankles are all broken by now. Even a doctor can't fix this. Might as well be left for dead. Here, forever, out of nowhere. Here lies Joe Biden. Ha ha ha! Bro just started thinking who the heck's gonna be left with his last will and testaments. This is so fucking funny and I love it. Stop overreacting. You sound like a teenage girl. What if I do sound like one? You say that like it's a bad thing. Isn't that a good thing? That might mean I am still young, which I am in fact, and damn, the platform didn't launch properly. Fuck this game. This game is rigged. It doesn't let us win. Uh, this is pissing me the fuck off. We were so close in the first try. But Joe just had to keep talking and mess my pacing. Damn it. Hey, don't blame that on me, Donald Duck. It wasn't my fault and it will never be mine. Just stop whining and show us how great you are by beating this section of the game. I will. Just watch me do it easy peasy this time. The thing is that this blaster takes too damn long to fire, and the platforms are not as consistent as they're supposed to. Yeah, I'm gonna sue the devs for this. Yeah, they kinda aren't, but maybe there's some tips and tricks on how we do it. Like we can start by not standing at the edge of it, but instead we'll stand close to the edge, if you know what I mean. No shit, Mr. Sherlock. That was what I have been doing the past few times already. It works sometimes, but I haven't tried it without moving the W key at all. I had to run and time it myself. Oh, is that so? Well, if that's the case, then do what's more comfortable for you and the one that has a better success rate. Let's get ourselves up there and see where we can go from there. Why the hell are you guys suddenly becoming serious? This isn't the type of people you are. You're supposed to be talking about something else. Are you sick or some shit? No, Joe. Maybe you are sick down to your very bottom core, but not us. We're just determined to beat this shitty puzzle place that the game has for us. We were so close. We just need to find a way to get launched over to that shard platform. Yeah, we're gonna make it this time. Just sit back and watch or maybe even help out Joe so that we can make some progress. Okay, time to get launched to the other side of the map. Are you sure this is gonna work? Donald is kinda heavy, you know? Oh my fucking God, I'm flying through the sky. What in the actual fuck? It worked. Now where the hell do we go from here? Uh, what? There is no invisible platform that we can use to jump across from here? Shit. Does that mean this isn't the right way to go? This smelled like progress, man. This game is bullshit. Agreed. I thought this was the right way to go, considering how much of a progress that we're making. At least that's what we thought. Maybe we can make this jump from here to there. It's too risky, but we don't have anywhere else to go. How the hell are we supposed to get this damn shard? This would be worth the damn time if there's two of it, but no, it had to be one measly shard. Wait, we're going for only one shard? I thought there was going to be more than one here, that's why I kept instigating you to solve it. This isn't worth our time at all then. It would be better to eat ice cream. At this point of exhaustion, Joe, I might really have to agree with you. Fuck, let's restock our bulbs once again and after that we can give it another try. I can smell it, I am so close, I might have made a wrong turn. Try and try until we die or more like until we succeed. I believe in the power of friendship. We can do it, boys. This is gonna be it. I can feel it. Can you feel my love and passion for you? Hell yeah, let me kiss you. Okay, what the, stop being damn so sleepy, Joe. You're such a sussy baka. I was about to say that you're acting normal than usual, which isn't like you, and now you're weird. Congrats on making it back. Congrats on making it back? I made it to the point that I was acting and speaking normally for the first time. That might have been the result of the power of our true bonds of friendship forever. Ha ha, stop being cringe sleepy Joe. You just don't get it, don't you? This is too damn funny. Well, yeah, congrats on making it look like you're a normal person. I don't want to say this, but if you claimed it yourself, then so can I. Well, I tried to be normal earlier since nothing was working out for us. I thought that with a changed attitude and a forged mind, we can win any struggle that we may encounter in the near future. 
but no, it doesn't work, so I, uh, I'm back. Weird Joe is back. Hearing you say that yourself, Joe, is kind of unsettling. It's okay if I say it to you, but when you do it yourself, I pity you. So please stop saying shit like that and let me have the honor instead. Is it? It sounds normal for me. Oh wait, isn't this in some kind of Lego movie? I believe it was a plot between Batman and the Joker. It was pretty tear-jerking, to be honest. Wait, you watch Lego movies? Isn't that some kind of movie that involves toys like bricks? What? You watch that thing? Aren't you too old to be watching those shit, Barack? Aren't you meddling a little bit too much with what I do in life, Joe? Are you provoking me right now? First of all, how the hell do you even know what a Lego movie is? Wait a damn minute. You also watch it, don't you? Uh, I, um, maybe? Just a little bit from time to time. I can't help it. It reminds me of the days back then. It's simply satisfying to have all those blocks blowing up together. I watched all the movies they have. Well, 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 the president is a fan of Lego fucking movies. What in the actual fuck? I lost to a candidate that has Lego movies as his favorite genre of movie? Okay, that's it. The election is officially confirmed rigged. What's wrong with Lego movies? They're action-filled and fun to watch, and they're super easy to understand. Even Barack watches it, and you don't have any beef with him. Oh, I sure do. So is this the new standard for becoming a president in the United States? Do you have some sort of in-depth collaboration of the Lego company? Are they making you a puppet? Are they secretly controlling the government? I'ma have this investigated. Whoa, whoa, chill out, Donald. You don't have to dig at all. We just simply like Lego movies. It's because it's fun for me to watch. Nothing more, nothing less. And please don't mess with them. They're one of my ice cream sponsors. You have sponsors too? Damn, Joe's living the dream. I wish I still had some. And yeah, stop overreacting, Donald. I just watched one movie because I saw it in a kid's channel and I had nothing else to do at that time. I don't fucking care. After this session is over, I'm gonna be watching the entire series and movies that the Lego industry have. And I'm gonna take the presidential spot away from you, Sleepy Joe. Don't forget about that. Are you really gonna watch every series and movies that they have? Can we have a video call and have a watch party together? I kind of forgot what stories I watched, so yeah, I'd want to re-watch it. A watch party? What are you two? A damn couple? Wake up, boys. Anyways, this isn't gonna help us to find a way to getting that damn shard. Hurry up and focus on the game. Switch up now and lock the fuck in. I'm already locked the fuck in. You two were the one messing with my run this entire time. You just can't keep those damn mouths close. That's why I had to jump in about those damn Lego movies. I can't find the right way. Or is there even one? Maybe we go here? Or did we already go through here? I can't remember. Oh my fucking God, I forgot to jump. This game is getting the best out of me. My ankles are all broken, that's why I couldn't jump. Yeah, that was the reason. God, shit, you're testing all of my patience right now, Joe. Just keep your hands off the damn mouse and keyboard. Who the hell forgets to jump? If you can't think and jump at the same time, just choose one to do. Hey, I can jump and think at the same time. It was definitely lag, jet lag. Yeah, that's it. And stop insulting me, you orange fat clown. We've been in this section for how many hours now and you can't find a way to grab it. I'm the best there is in the world, so if I am struggling, even if it's only for a little and short a while of time, that means this shit is gonna be a hundred times harder for you. Got that? So shut up and watch. Yeah, he is better in solving this kinds of puzzles than us, Joe. But the thing is, we can't find the right path towards it. There are multiple ways to grab a treasure. Let's start thinking outside of the box. I am thinking along those lines too, but with it that up high, we might have no other choice but to figure this one out ourselves. We can't glitch through it or just simply grab it if it's floating up there. Shit, we just fell again. This game is really hard, especially for our ankles. I'm glad that the character that we have right now has immortal ankles. If this was me, I wouldn't be able to walk for like a whole week. Let's just thank the game that they didn't add a sprained ankle feature, which would make it much more harder than it already is right now. Imagine limping through the fucking game. I'd have quit already if that was the case, especially if you need to wait for it to heal on its own, or worse of all, find a med kit before your ankles work again. We wouldn't be able to solve this puzzle if that's what was happening. Hey, uh, I might be onto something. I might be getting us closer to the shard. Maybe we can grab it from over here. I feel like we haven't done this, or am I having dementia too? Whatever, it's worth a try. Shit, you're right, Barack. This is definitely straight up there. Holy fuck, we're not gonna make it. Grab it, phew, I have it. Hell yeah, that was what I was gonna do. So credit's still mine. How the heck are we gonna get down here? Oh yeah, I forgot, immortal ankles. Heck yeah, we have five out of 20 shards. 
That means uh, one, two, three, four, five. We still have a lot left more to go. That's the best conclusion I could think of. Ah, shit. I totally forgot about this guy. We're getting spawn trapped as soon as we get one of our shards. We still need 15 more, so get the heck out of our way so we can beat this damn game. First, let's restock our bulbs before we set out for a war and a whole new adventure. Glad that we got that one out of the way. We would have definitely spent more time if we didn't grab it. Yeah, that was one of the most confusing and time-consuming run that we did for a simple shard. Let's find some more. I'm itching to beat this game and I'll send a screenshot to the devs just to make them see that I beat it. Are you sure you're just gonna send a screenshot of this game, Donald? To the devs? I hardly believe that. You ain't getting extra game passes, you know that, right? Oh, fuck off, Joe. Just shut up before I leave you here to one of the zookeepers, and you can ask him for some special ice cream if you know what I mean. Anyways, we can try and get this one, the closest one to us. Yeah, let's make our way slowly but surely to the bulk beam of lights towards our left. We're gonna get the shards. We're gonna beat this game even if it's the last thing that we do. That's my line, Barack. Come on, don't be a douchebag and start using my line. Oh, fuck, no sense of originality. Let's go ahead and find the easiest one that we can grab so we can save the time-consuming ones for later. Since when did you have that line for yourself, Donald? Don't tell me I'm getting copyright restricted for saying a line that isn't even yours in the first place. Shut up and stop whining and let's get to work. Y'all can get to work and I'll stay here and watch you grab that shard from that ugly-ass doo-doo bird. You can do it. This is so fun to watch while eating my set of ice creams. I might want to go ahead and try some pizza. Hey, first you don't want to help us, and now you're giving free advertisement for Mr. Beast's Feastables. It's not even a paid promotion, although it's still undeniably better than Hershey's. Mr. Beast, please sponsor this video. Just when did we start begging full-time content creators to monetize our videos? I mean, it's worth a try, and I have to agree. It is better than any chocolate I have tasted so far. But it's not even ice cream, Joe. Who gives a damn? It's fucking yummy and I mix it with my ice cream time to time so I'd still count it. Oh my, I'm drooling right now. Shit, this is all your fault. I'm about to order more now. Careful with all that damn calories, Joe. You're gonna be a fat monster that's gonna have his own gravity. You wouldn't wanna be targeted by Meaty Canyon, do you? Meaty Canyon or not, we have one more shards in our damn pockets, boys. And it is all thanks to my undeniable and valiant effort that we made it this far. Come on, go ahead and praise me. You pee! Oh shit, I'm falling! Oh my god, please don't touch me. I promise I won't tell anyone that you look ugly as fuck. I'll even help you catfish yourself. Please don't! Let's get the heck out of here. We're doing better right now. And stop taking credit for my work, Barack. That was clearly me. That wasn't you. I have it recorded, so don't you even dare or I'll sue you. Yeah, yeah, the comments will be the one deciding who got it. You were talking too much, so I grabbed it from you. That's what you get for not focusing on the damn game. Oh, is this turning into another competition? Let's go ahead and compete for this shard then. But we have to careful for that darn monkey. He might start jumping up and he'll try to eat us for sure. I mean, look at Donald. What the hell do you mean by that, Joe? Come on, say it in front of my face. I dare you, stupid ass bitch, shut up. Just watch me get that damn shard and I'll smack it right across your face. What I mean is that if anyone was here to be surely targeted by some chipmunks, then that would be you. I mean, look at the color of your head. They might mistake you as a huge banana walking around. We don't know. I'm just concerned for you. Wow, ha 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 ha, who the hell let Sleepy Joe cook? I can't believe you just straight up told Donald that. You might have a death wish or something. That's gonna be one of my core memories. Donald the big banana, the big dingle. Oh yeah? I used to be an orange clown, but now I got fucking promoted to a damn banana? Out of nowhere? Fine. If that's how you're gonna play it, I'm gonna leak all of your scandalous acts in the public. Do you want that? Try me, stupid bitch. Please don't. I changed my mind, Donald. I don't want to ruin my face just yet. We have an upcoming election. I can't lose my reputation. Fine, fine. You're an orange, not a banana. Is that better? Like that makes it better, shithead. Fuck off, because I'm the one winning this damn competition. Just look at me, I got the damn shard. Oh wait, I didn't, that wasn't the plan. Shit, is this game rigged? Way to go, Mr. Big D, ha ha. You just blundered the biggest blunder of your life. I can't believe you didn't get to make that tiny ass jump. That was embarrassing, way too embarrassing. Clip that chat. Oh, shut up, Barack. How about you start live streaming your room right now because Michelangelo's about to whoop your ass for embarrassing me in front of chat. Editor, edit that out and pretend like nothing happened. Oh, hell now. 
Editor, don't you dare edit it out. Direct orders from the president. You won't be getting a paycheck if you do as he says. Got that? Come on, go ahead and make this jump, I dare you. Fucking stupid ass abusing his damn privilege. Just you wait, Joe. I'm so close to the freaking shard, I can even fucking smell it. It smells like McDonald's fries. Time to make this leap of faith. I don't think I can make it, though. Time to find out. Oops, that was definitely rigged. Ha ha, you failed the second time, Donald. How about you give this shard to me and give up already? We can't make it that way. We have to find another way. There's always another path. Find that one instead. Yeah, stop stating the darn obvious, Barack. I'm not a damn kid like that damn president that we have over there munching on his feastables mixed with ice creams. What a dumbass. You're finna have type 2 diabetes. Mm-hmm, this is so fucking yummy. Oh, wait, did you call me? What? You ordered me type 2 diabetes? What's that? Is that another Feastables flavor? Or maybe it's ice cream? Yeah, just bring it to me anytime. Sorry, Joe, but I don't think you need it from us. I think you already have it. Congratulations if you do. That is one of the biggest blunder I mean achievement that you'll ever have in your life. Thank you, Donald. I still don't know what that is, but if I have it and I'm the president, then that must mean that I'm already the best. Oh, fuck! Why the hell is this monkey down here? Get out! We have a shard to get. We're making decent progress. Donald finally got that one back there, and now we're up to seven shards. This is finna be a walk in the park if this keeps up, which we're gonna keep that way. This is gonna be our eighth shard, but I just hate dealing with these damn monsters. If there were none around, I bet I could solve these places within just a few minutes. And I'm not even kidding. Well, that would be too damn easy for someone who has a high-ass ego as you do, Donald. We don't want that from happening. You might end up becoming too sad to play if we have nothing to feed your ego. Well, that's true. Ah, fuck. That scared the shit out of me, and yeah, you do know me very well, Sleepy Joe. I'm surprised. I'm not complaining, but I am just saying this would be too easy for me if there were no Monkey Joes around. Yeah, I am your best friend, Donald. Of course I know what runs around that stupid small head of yours. And yeah, thank you for calling me Monkey Joe. Monkey Joe, wait, that's me? Fuck you and fuck off. Took you long enough, Joe, ha ha. These moments of realizations really get to me. It's so fucking funny, ha ha. Anyways, time to find out if this place is gonna be as easy as the other ones that we played back there. Nope, this is gonna be a bit annoying if we have Monkey Joe following us around. I just wish that this blaster can blast a hole in this guy. Fuck, game devs better step up this time. Stop whining and get to climbing Monkey Donald. I mean, I'm the monkey, so you're gonna be the banana. I won't mind chasing you to the ends of the world, Donald, as long as you're quite scrumptious. What the fuck is up with that damn logic? What the heck are you talking about? Ain't no way I'm gonna be letting you have a bite of me if that's the case. Hell nah, you might even have some monkey infections on you. I don't. I have none that I know of. But who the hell cares about that? I'm not a damn dog. It's not like I have rabies as a monkey. Do monkeys have rabies? They don't, right? I don't think they have rabies or some shit, but they do have some variants of infections that may be related to rabies. Just kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a monkey doctor. Get the hell away from me, Monkey Joe. What the hell is wrong with you? That question would be easily answered, Barack, if you were to ask his private doctor. I mean, he has a monkey patient. That would make him a monkey doctor, haha. -ha. Wait, don't you dare talk about my quack doctor like that. He doesn't deserve it. He went through so much for me. He had to remove most of my tooth and replace it artificially almost every week because it kept decomposing due to high level consumption of ice creams. Oh really? That's oh my god, like really? Did that? Did I fucking ask? No, so stop fucking talking and how about y'all start helping me this time around so that we can end this game quickly. We just have to find the way towards there. Let me! Oh shit, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Get me the heck out of here. Too late. I just got bitten by my own kind. Come on, traitors. Let me be. You know what? I don't want any help from you, Joe. You can do something else. This is my repeated mistakes throughout this damn session. Can we have Sleepy Joe as a watcher the next time we play a game, Barack? That's quite rude. I don't want that to happen to me or to anyone, especially our friend. He's surely just getting through your head, just messing with you. Am I right, Joe? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, come on, Donald. I promise to use my brain now and help you solve this puzzle area since it's stressing you out. You don't have to kick me out of the session. I would love to spectate, but not force to spectate, if you know what I mean. 
It's not stressing me out. Air, fuck this game. I mean, it's too easy. Give me something harder to deal with devs, and I'm not fucking talking about Sleepy Joe. Fine, let's see you use your brain. The problem is that sometimes, I mean not sometimes, but most of the times the platforms aren't working as they're supposed to. And we just got eaten by this darn monkey. Stop cock blocking the starting area, goddammit. We can do this, boys. How about we try a different route this time, which means that we go right here. Oh wait, not there. Was it here? I kind of forgot. Where did you go last time, Donald? I can't remember, Muehe. Of course, this is the type of help that I get from this dementia playing motherfucker. Let's try and make it all the way over up there. Is this gonna work? Time to find out. And nah, it didn't. Let's just keep trying up until we eliminate all the wrong ways. Fuck. What the hell is wrong with these platforms? This is so tedious, especially that trial and error is the style with these damn puzzles because we can't map the entire thing out. It's too complicated to look at. Let's restock our bulbs. I didn't even know that you can map an entire place with just your mind, Barack. Now I learned something new. But first things first, we surely need these bulbs. It's called photographic memory, Joe. Not everyone in the world has it because our individual minds works in mysterious ways. It's an inborn kind of thing. We can't do much about it. Also, it's not like it's a completely a photographic thing. I believe one of the factors why I can do it well is because I map the road that I go through and find the right path during our road trips. It might or not be. We can't be that sure because we aren't some kind of psychologist that studies this types of cases. Let's just leave it at there that not everyone can do it. Individuality specialty type shit. Oh, is that so? Then I'm kind of envious of you, Barack. I can't map this entire thing even if I wanted to. Wait, all of that talking is making me lose track on where to fucking go. Oh, wait, it's all the way over there. You don't have to shout Joe. And by the way, it's not like that's an awesome thing. And it's not like we're going to be playing this game every single day. You're doing a pretty good job maintaining the country state. Well, that's true. Yeah, I don't have to be jealous about a game skill because I am the president and I can buy any type of ice creams that I want whenever I want it. I'm pretty good enough, I think. Uh, I made it all the way up here on a whim. Now what the hell do I do? I don't have anywhere else to go. Fuck, am I stuck? That was the wrong platform to be boosted from? No one said that. Oh well, back to fucking zero. Let's just avoid that platform the next time. We can't even make it to the neighboring platform because we had an entire wood cage blocking the way. Good thing is, the monkey is bugging out down there. At least we don't have to worry as much. Let's just hurry up and get back to where we were. I think that was a pretty good progress. That's the plan, Joe. If these platforms just do its job, then I can do mine as well. Even better. But they just won't cooperate. They might be working for you. Are you sabotaging me right now? Am I sabotaging you right now? What the? Are you seriously asking me that question right now when I'm clearly trying to do my best to help you? Right now? The audacity, yeah, so what if I am? Psych, of course no shithead. That's what I thought. You better not be playing, and you can't be just jumping on random platforms you can't make. Come on, be better than that. If you're gonna help me, then be sure that the success rate is at least 50%. Ha ha. I can't believe that you just said that. At least 50%. What the absolute shit is wrong with you, Donald? Got me cracking up. And yeah, let's try and take a bigger look at the picture. Maybe we can figure it out from down here. Yeah, you heard me. That applies to the both of you. If you think that it's not gonna help me, then don't. You must think along the 50 plus percent of success rate. Use your brain before you use it on trying to help me. You know what? This is taking too much of our time. If we want to have at least 50% chance of grabbing a shard, then why don't we grab it from somewhere else? That sound better, right? Shit, where the hell did you take us, Joe? Oh wait, one's right there, under a cage. This might have been the right call, Joe. So this is what happens if you use your brain. Why didn't you use it since you were born? What the hell do you mean? I'm using it every day for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be here if I didn't know how to use it, you know? And why the hell is the zookeeper in one of the cage? I think I finally get what's happening. No wonder we couldn't deal with the bunny thing. See these? These are levers. Remember when we got through the first gate? We had to find out which was the right one. It's the same with this one. But I think if we choose the wrong one, the cage on Zookeeper's head is going to be lifted. You say that shit while it's clearly being lifted, Barack. What the hell is wrong with you? We have to find out which one's which as fast as we can. But there's too damn many. Fuck it. 
Just spam the rest of the levers, but don't fall. Get it, Joe? Yeah, yeah, Donald. He can't reach us if we're up here, right? Fuck his already out. Wait, that means that we don't have to worry about him getting out. The bad side of it is that he's out. Fuck, this is still bad. It was bound to happen either way. Let's just have him out and about. As long as we don't fall, we don't have anything to worry about. Just focus on finding the right lever. There's more over on that platform. How the hell are we supposed to make it up there? Please tell me that it's not up there or this is gonna be another headache. Fuck. We have no other choice but to go up. Those must be the last ones that we have to check. Shit, the platform's bugging out again. Wait, let me crouch. Please be it. Fuck, it must be this one. Hell yeah, a green. This is it. We got it, boys. We just need to get the shard and get out of here. Yeah, we did it. The cage is lifted and we can just grab it. He's fucking directly fucking under us. Fuck it, I'm going for it. Oh shit, no. Ah, fuck, that played out better in my head, my bad boys. Haha, <laughs> valiant effort, Joe. Just leave it to me and Barack this time. By the way, I knew that we had to find the right lever in the bugging area. Let's go ahead and get that one after this. I didn't tell you because y'all were pissing me off. You're such a douchebag, you know that? Wait a damn minute. You acted and looked like you also didn't know what you were doing. Is that even true? You must be bluffing. I, uh, um, I acted in a powerhouse theater back in high school. Of course I know how to fake my ignorance when I need to. It's my best weapon. And yeah, I definitely knew what I was doing back then. No doubt about it, Mui He. Fuck, we almost got away from him, too. Why the hell are there so many of them swarming us right now? Acting or not, we still have to get that shard. Let's just go back and get it while we can. First, we have to juke the fuck out of this fuckers. Which is highly impossible, but we can't lose anything. Might as well use our best effort to get the hell away from these fuckers. Ah! We were so darn close, too. That's bullshit. I can't believe we can't outrun them like at all. This is just not fair. Anyways, that's over. I also agree with going to the bunny one if we don't find anything else easier than that. Me too. But these fuckers are trying to keep us here. Not that I'm gonna let them keep me in a damn cage. I'm not a damn animal. I'm gonna be getting the freedom I deserve. Catch me if you can. We lost them. Ha, stupid fuckers. Let's make our way to the bunny one. If we can find something along the way, we can just go on a little detour. What I'm trying to say is that go with the flow. I mean, that's a given, Joe. You don't have to tell us to go with the flow. That would be the same thing as telling someone to breathe while they're already breathing. I doubt that you understand what I'm saying, but yeah, if you know, you know. What the hell do you mean? It's the same as telling someone to breathe? I don't fucking understand. I mean, yeah, yeah, that totally makes sense. Don't make me look dumb in front of the camera, Donald. Ha ha ha! Let's just leave it at that, Joe. We'll just end up arguing about this if we keep talking about it. Have we been here before? That one right there is the closest one so far. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's here. It's so darn close. What the hell is this shard doing at the edge of the fence? Are they trying to give this away for free? Don't mind if I say yes. This is gonna be our next shard right here. We can't seem to reach it from there. We might be able to get it from the inside. Let's see, what do we have here? Is this gonna be another complicated puzzle? Please tell me it's not. I don't think so, unless there's a damn twist to this place, which is to say possible, like it's right here and we can't even grab it. Is this game for real? If this was in real life, that shard would be long gone. Too bad this is a game, Donald. We have to use the system to beat the system. The starting platform must be around here somewhere, or else. How the hell are we supposed to get that? This one looks like the easiest so far. This must be it. Can I even make it? Yeah, no. What in the actual fuck? Where the heck do we go from here? Don't tell me that we can't get that one shard. It's so close too. This is pissing me off. Wait, shut up. There must be a way to get up here. The game must be messing with us if there's no other way to get up there. Is this game for real? Oh my God, can we climb these poles? We can't? Ugh, my brain's gonna dry up figuring this shit out. Wait, wait, let's take a step back and look at it. We might be able to connect the dots if we take a big look out of the damn box. You know what they say, look at the bigger picture. Wait a damn minute, is it what I think it is? Fuck. Yeah, we can't get that thing if we don't use our brain to launch ourselves from there to here. It's connected. The start is all the way there, this can't be real. What do you mean by that, Donald? Come on, explain it in terms that I can understand. Don't make it more complicated than it already is, damn it. Fuck no. If I do, then that means I accepted the fact that this puzzle is interconnected to that part over there back in the entrance that we went through. That means that we can't easily grab this shard. Come on, Donald. Talk slowly or Biden's brain's gonna be rotting as soon as he hears all of that information all at once. We can't give up yet. 
we might be able to exploit this place, just like how we did it before. Yeah, yeah, that is true, my bad, Barack. Can I try the glitching through the damn board method on this platform over here? I don't want to do this legitly. Fuck, we can't. Damn it. Are we just pussying out on a puzzle area right now? I doubt that we can't do this one. This is going to be another walk in the park if we try and get this one shard. We can't seem to cheat the system. Yeah, hell nah. I'm going to find a darn way and this is going to be it. I won't stop from exploiting this game's structure to my own benefit. All I have to do is balance myself and make it over at the shard and then I can jump grab it. Is that really even going to work? I doubt that it will, but by the times that you manage to surprise us, then maybe it is possible. Come on, Donald. Add another shard to our pocket. One more. I'm trying. Don't push me over my limit. No, I mean, I have no limits, so just shut up and let me get to work. I can't even make it to that starting board right there. This is looking grim for us, boys. What about this section over here, boys? Does this have to do something about the situation that we're in? Wait a minute. Do we have to make it through here before we can make it to there? Oh, is that what you were trying to tell me earlier, Donald? Shit. We might have actually no other choice but to do this entire section before making it to the next area. The shards area. Remember what happened last time? Yeah, that was hell for me. The past ones were already hard enough, and now we have to connect this entire big puzzle place together to make it to the next platform without messing up. Can we really do this? Hey, shut up and stop pussying out. You guys have been complaining from the moment that we got here. What the hell is wrong with you two? Are you sick? I can do this myself. I don't need y'all. I wasn't complaining, and hearing you say that you can do this yourself makes me so damn pissed off, Joe. Just shut up and watch me beat this place like I always have. I'm gonna slap that shard on your face when I get it. Yeah, do it hard, Donald. If you can get it, that is. And make sure to coat it with vanilla ice cream so that I can lick it properly the moment that you decide not to use it anymore. Got that? I can't believe what I just heard. What the hell did you just say, Joe? Coat it with vanilla ice cream so that you can lick it afterwards. What is wrong with you? You know what? I'm sure if you answer, it's gonna stress me out, so don't even bother answering. Ha ha. I'll make sure to do it like you said, Joe. Don't worry about vanilla ice creams. We have a lot of it. And this puzzle area is gonna be trickier than I thought. There's too many paths to map out Barack. Yeah, I can see that. We're already back on square one. We just have to find the right one by trial and error. Just make sure to remember where you went. We can manage by doing that. I can help with what you call this. Taking notes and remembering where you went and got out, and most importantly, where you fell or failed during your run. Just leave it to me. Got that? Yeah. I, uh, uh, what am I doing here again? If this was your first day on the job, Joe, then you already got yourself fired. I still can't believe that you managed to trick the entire population to vote for you. For your information, I didn't trick or manipulate them. I just went and showed them my true self and they respected it. That's why I am the president and you are not. Just focus on your job and I'll do mine too. What job are you even doing? I bet that sexy Terry of yours is doing all your damn work. She should be the president instead of you if that's the case. Wait, there's a bulb here. Oh shit, oh, guys, I fell through the platform. Yeah, that was a game bug. That was not my fault at all. We can even have a replay. Yeah, check the footage, play it back. Motherfucker. Did you really just mess up with our damn progress because you got distracted for a single light bulb? Keep your hands off of them, Joe. I'm gonna be sending you an entire ship of them so that you won't mess up this time. Ha ha ha, what did you expect? ADHD is one of his greatest enemies right now and I can't believe it's not just for ice cream. It's also for light bulbs. Is that even an upgrade? Upgrade or downgrade, I don't fucking care. The only thing I care about is the damn shard. Let's just hurry up and get this one so that we can get the hell out of this damn place. You kind of sound like a broken record, Donald. Are you sure that you're okay? The first time we were here, you didn't want to grab any of those damn shards, and now you're saying it's important to you. Are you an anomaly? Are you even the real Donald? I am, or am I? That is the real question. And even if I am an anomaly, what the heck are you going to do about it? Is there something that you can do about it? Let's see you try. Now's really not the time to be arguing, Donald. It's right over here. This shard is way too close, but yet too fucking far away. That is the best phrase to describe our situation right now. I have another idea, let me try it out. How about y'all just shut up and let me trace this fence, and then when we're in front of the shard, I jump grab it. This might work this time. Ah! He can reach us from there! 
Fuck you, zookeeper. You can even grab us from inside the damn safe zone. Or technically, we were in the middle of it, since we were on the fence. Well, that was fucked. Let's just restock the bulbs and we can give it another go. We still haven't found out if that is possible, and 99% of my ideas are workable or doable. So let's not lose hope. I'm honestly down for anything right now, Donald. Just let me know if I can help you with anything, and I'll do everything that I can. As long as it's related to getting these shards. Damn. I was about to ask if you can stroke my... You know what? Never mind. Forget about it. I'm almost there. This must be it, right? Oh, wait. Let me back up a little. Come on. Give this shard to us. Just give it. What the... What the hell was that damn jump? Are you serious? That was the best jump that you could do, Donald? Pathetic damn legs. We could have reached it if you weren't that weightly challenged. You know what? Fuck you and that shard. You can both go to hell. I don't need it anyway. It's your loss that you can't be grabbed by my hands. Let's just find another shard that we can grab easily. One that isn't time consuming. Here, we can do the bunny one. It lead us right to it. You are as beautiful as the day that I found you. Just you wait. We'll be down there and we'll end your misery by taking that shard out of your hands. How the hell do we do this again? We just start off by pulling all the levers in the area, right? That's basically what we're gonna do. Yeah, fuck it. We can do this. Oh, I forgot why we're pulling it. Run, 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 damn. He's so fucking fast for a damn bunny. We can get the shard, Joe, if we keep pulling these damn levers out of the way. We need to find the right one that can open the cage, and then we can grab it. We're starting out with the outmost layers of levers that is in the area. We just keep this movement. In circles, then we can find the right one fast. As long as we do it correctly. Shit. Shit, fuck crap. This is stressing me the fuck out. We did the outer ones right, then it must be around in the middle. The lever, fuck, where is it? Help me find it. Oh my God, we just got caught. Figures. We can't outrun that thing for long anyways. That was a good try. Let's try and look for the right lever in the middle section of the surrounding levers. Shit, shit, why did the prop pop up? I was close to it. Fuck, this game is rigged. Yeah, we have to be faster, and it turns out that we have to face or be really close to the lever to pull it. Phew, this is stressing me out. This is too much even for my age. I used to be such a runner back then. Let's just get this shit started. This is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's not even supposed to be this hard, just kidding. We were just playing around, Mr. Bunny. You can catch us now, because we have the shard that we need. That makes it nine out of 20 fuckers. Hell yeah, we're one more away to making half of our quota. We just need to keep up this pace and we can beat this game just a little bit more. What the hell is that thing? And yeah, goodbye, Mr. Bunny. Don't be sad that we're gone. We'll make sure to visit you in the afterlife. Thanks for hiding the shard. Let's make it to at least 10 today. 10? We can make it to 11 if I want to. And that's what's going to happen because I am the law around this place. You saw that they didn't want to mess with me in any way. Ha ha! Or maybe you're uglier than them. That's why they don't want to mess with you, Donald. Ha ha! Just kidding. Hey, I'm just kidding, all right. Oh yeah? Is this how you repay me for all the efforts that I did to get all the nine shards that we have right now? Wow! What a fucking douchebag! I hope you get caught by those ugly aliens and you turn into one of them. Hey, hey, come on now. I was just playing with you. You know that I didn't mean that. I kind of do, but not in a bad way. It's just that I'm a Boy Scout. I don't lie. Boy Scout? What is that, Barack? Is that another kind of game or like a brand for an ice cream? Wait, that doesn't sound right. What the hell is even that thing? I don't remember you becoming a Boy Scout. You can just look it up, Joe, since you won't understand it if I explain it to you. Basically, a man-child group that abides the law of the jungle in becoming the best. Same goes for being honest. By the way, we need a key for this one. No fucking shit, Sherlock. We can read, you know? Yeah, it said that it was nearby. And I think a prompt popped up when one of the little midgets were running around me. It should be around here somewhere. It must be close. And did you say that a prompt popped up when one of them passed you? That means that they have the key for the ice cream truck that has been missing since the day we lost Atlantis. I'm gonna get it. Uh, yeah? That was what we're really trying to get and use it for. Definitely not for getting the shards. Just let me borrow it, Joe, if you find it. Wait, let's try and pickpocket this guy. He's all alone right now. Pickpocket this guy? Poor fellow. Oh, wait, he had the key that we have been looking for. Hell yeah, lucky. Glad that he was stuck around the corner, too. Now I can finally use this to find the lost ice cream truck of Atlantis. Uh, too bad it's not the key that you think it is, Joe. Uh, 
We just used to it to open that cage, and now we're up to 10 out of 20. We're halfway there, boys. We can do this. And that is all thanks to the effort that I made during this entire session. Make sure to put all the credits to my name, and then I'll consider that as your talent fee for letting y'all play with me. Whoa, 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 the audacity to say that. How about we just hop off right now since you think you can do this all by yourself, you big egotistical bastard. If you hop off the fucking game right now, I'm gonna be restarting this game and we're gonna lose all of our progress and we have to go through all of that again to beat it, I said. We're gonna leave it at 11. I love odd numbers. Odd numbers, what's that? Are there different kinds of numbers? Aren't all numbers supposed to be numbers? There's more to life than ice cream? Oh my God, I'm getting dizzy right now. And you call yourself a student of Harvard when you don't even know the kinds of numbers like odds and evens. God, please don't tell me that you don't know what a consonant and a vowel is. He knows that. I'm pretty sure that he's just messing with you, just to get on most of your nerves. There's one over here inside. We can do this one, and then after that, we can have a short break. Consonant and vowels, even in odd numbers. Yeah, I know those. Yeah, those are what you eat every single day, right? Just like water. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. Anyways, what the hell are those frogs? They sound like cows. Cows? Frogs sounding like cows? I doubt that it sounds crazier than realizing that the president of your country is an illiterate fake mother trucker, and now your beloved graceful country is not gonna reach its doom. No doomsday is gonna be happening, Donald. Trust Joe, it must be the effect of his dementia. Come on, Joe, don't embarrass my vote like this. It's gonna make me regret voting for you. What, you voted for him? That is unacceptable. Didn't you say that you voted for me? Was that just a bluff? Just for me to feel fucking better? You are sick, Barack. You are as big as a pile of shit as this guy over here. Hey, you can't be talking to our beloved voters like that. You have to respect each and everyone's own votes. That's how I won fair and square. Stop crying and let's just get the last one that we need. That's what I'm planning to do, Joe. You don't have to be on my dick. I know what I'm doing and I don't want you to remind me that again. After I get this 11th one, that's it. I'm out of here. I might even consider taking a hiatus because of y'all. Ah! Oh shit, we just fell through the damn floor. There's holes. Why the hell did no one say anything? Where the hell did we come from again? Was it somewhere around here? That caught us off guard. A maze like this and considering the layout and size of it, it's gonna be taking us quite some time before we get that shard up there. Just watch out for the holes. Or maybe let me do it and have a certain someone back off the game before he ruins everything. Are you trying to steal my shard too? The same way you stole my vote, you shithead. Hey, I didn't steal any of your votes. I don't know what Barack said to you or anyone else. But they voted for me because they want me as their president. It's as simple as that. Uh, maid number 50, give me some ice creams. I'm sorry that you found out this way, Donald, but yeah, I kind of voted for him on a whim. But it is still a fact that I voted for him. Consider it as a handicap that you would need to prove yourself worthy of the position. That's right. I was setting and warming the stage for you. Is that right, Barack? Didn't you vote for me because you said that I'm going to be a better president than someone who only eats McDonald's as his daily meals? Oh, by the way, guys, my teleprompter's overheating. We have to finish this fast. Is that right, Barack? You double agent motherfucker. You're playing the both of us. You shouldn't have ever voted. Now I see you for who you really are, and you need to upgrade your setup, Joe, like ASAP. We can't have a president this poor. Let's just forget about this conversation. Let's just act that you never heard what I said, and I'm gonna leave it at that whether you both like it or not. Let's just get the shard. Yeah, yeah, easy for you to say, voting for someone else other than me. The level of disrespect after this game is over, Barack. I'm not threatening you or something, but I would love to pay you a visit. Can we have a house party at my house? I can sponsor you all the ice creams that you need. I mean McDonald's. And have the kitchen tidied up for rock in case you would love to make some sandwiches for me. I don't only eat McDonald's, you know. You can consider KFC as one of them too. If that's on the house, then maybe we can have a house party. I might even bring you some world-class ice cream in return. That sounds like a good plan, guys. We can have a house party as soon as we finish our quota. We just need one for the day and Donald's gonna be satisfied for his run. And then Joe's teleprompter can finally take a break. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. I don't know what's wrong with this, but it keep bugging out. Wait a damn minute. Is that smoke coming out of the screen? Oh, uh, guys, since when did we have 3D effects on teleprompters? Ah, uh, shit. That ain't no 3D effects, Joe. That's literal smoke coming from your screen. Use a damn fire extinguisher or something. You don't want your entire house burning to the damn ground because of it.
Ah, so it's smoke? Literal smoke? Wait, what? Shit. So that's why I smelled something burning. Also, we hit a dead end, by the way. This is going to be taking us quite some time because we have to loop around the maze. The frames on your teleprompter is dropping incredibly fast, Joe. You must extinguish the fire as soon as you can or our PC is going to match up with your FPS rate so that we get the same view. We made yours as the source. FPS what? What the hell are you talking about? You guys can fix this when you get here instead. For now, let's just focus on the maze so that we can save our progress afterwards. I can smell the shard being incredibly close to us right now. Or is that the big pile of shit down back there? We'll just call him George Le Shit Shit. Yeah, that smell. It might be him, actually. Ha ha! Poor George getting dissed out of nowhere. Make sure to watch out for holes out there, Donald. We don't want to reset this entire thing, especially now we're so close to getting it. Just a little more. How close even are we right now? I feel like we're really, really close. Oh wait, why the hell are we going down? Did we make a wrong damn turn? I can't remember where and what I did the last time I got here. Don't worry, Joe. This is what usually happens in mazes like this one. It tries to trick us by luring us in a seemingly favorable right way, and then boom, it's a damn dead end. So in cases like this, you trace back your step and find the other route. Here, this place smells like progress. Like really, really good progress. I usually hate mazes back then, but now, because of games like this, I learned how to be patient with it. Now I think I can survive when I'm in a maze, at least in a game. Delulu era Barak, stop being delusional. I can't believe you're gonna measure your survival skills to some game. And we're directly beneath the shard that we're looking for. I bet I can grab that from here. Fuck fine, let's just find the way. It seems like we can't fit our hands through these barbed wires, Donald which would be possible in some cases. It's okay. I think we're also really close right now. I'm not sure, but I feel like we are. Here, this is the shard. Oh, fuck. We went on the wrong way. This is a damn dead end. It's right there, too. Fuck. We have to loop around and find the right route to get it. Fuck fine. This is what usually happens in the maze. I guess we just got unlucky. We're about to get our 11th shard. Make sure to let the world know that I was the one who got him. Got that? Yeah, yeah, we'll make sure to let them know that you got them, Donald, for sure. And yeah, this maze is actually a walk in the park compared to the one that we went through earlier. The one with the Slender Man and the monkey. What do you mean, a Slender Man and a monkey? Wait, I can't remember. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that one. We can't even make it through the entrance because the monkey was blocking it. And we got it. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 11 out of 20 shards. We are officially halfway through, and consider Joe's teleprompter my handicap, fuckers. Fuck y'all haters. Now would be a good time to leave this game right here. Time to take a break from this session. We did really great. So let us know, guys, if you want the president to legitly beat this game so that we can come back and play it. Show some love and support for the channel, guys. We love everyone who stays with us through the end. Make sure to hit that like button and comment down below. Donald is the goat. No! Comment down below. Joe loves ice cream all the time. When will you guys be coming? I'll have my maid clean the house up first. I'll be there in an hour. Me too. I just have to ask Michael. I mean, Michelle for permission. See you later, boys. Time for a banger house party. Okay, just let me know when. I'll be waiting. Goodbye, boys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will...